Hello and welcome and thank you for purchasing uh, the floating bait presenter. Well, uh, when you get the envelope, you'll obviously receive it in a brown envelope like this. Um, and uh, this is uh, the way I post them, taped up in loads of sellotape just to stop them from poking through and uh, getting lost in the post. Um, everything's all hunky-dory, 99% success. Uh, However, there has been one or two issues with um, um, when uh, during uh, July, June, July and August, busy times of the year, I'm making these like anything, trying to make them between all other jobs. And uh, sometimes um, the weight doesn't get located from the pin properly. Anyway, I'll, um, the next video um, on, I'll show you how to actually replace the weight if you want to use a heavier weight or a lighter weight. Um, or if the weight has weight uh, not been inserted properly, uh, how to change the pin or push the pin back in with the, uh, with a new weight if I send you one. <laughs> anyway, it should never happen again, hopefully, fingers crossed. This is how you receive it out of the bottom packet. Um, look, take the elastic band off. And you have two little cocktail sticks here. They're obviously longer than required. Uh, this is the float here, as you can see. It has two eyes on it um, stem some of them if you ordered them will come with colored tops uh, that's an extra pound extra if the fluorescent paint it's not cheap stuff but um, there you go that's the way things are in it in this day and age uh, it'll also have a patent uh, ticket on the back of it and uh, just take that off or wet it and just slide it off these tubes are very smooth and shiny and also very very flexible indeed so um, you shouldn't have any troubles with that unlike the uh, prototype when I first started making them they had a bit of a uh, problem bending and then wouldn't um, they would, um, or somewhere crease or they are having a, a reaction with the um, glue so um, these tubes which the manufacturer have now supplied me are absolutely excellent and um, do the job nicely um, so to thread this up, all you need to do is obviously get some nice um, floating line. It's preferable, however, um, I prefer, well, sorry, I'm saying preferable. Floating line would be the common sense to use. However, um, floating line is normally soft. So, a nice stiff line, about... 15 pound breaking strain is ideal. Pass it through the tube until it comes out the other end. All right, so pass it through. If you have trouble getting line through your tube, um, and if you've got someone who plays a guitar, good old um, guitar string, twist it at the end, and poke it through, put it through, and pull it back through the tube again. So then you need to tie on your hook. So I've got a nice little sharp hook here, um, a size 10 um, or larger is fine, all right, and just tie the hook on. You can use a tie as a hair rig if you want to, um, but the reason I prefer to use a stiff line is because it protrudes away from the float better. And presents better on the surface because really the idea of using this, all right, um, excuse me, using my teeth, um, the idea of using this is so when we have the light out, as you can see, it flicks out better, it doesn't just drop down here. Um, and the fish tend not to detect ticks so easily. So all we need to do is set this up, is if I just turn to the side of it, so you've got a bit of a white background here. Excuse my mess and guitars and things. Um, just pull it out, oops, pull it out. So, it's about so, yeah. And presents nicely on the surface so there we have it that's all you need 
but obviously the, the when the uh, bread or whatever you're using gets wet it's going to hang a little bit but it's not if you hang it like this it could land up waggling around like this in the water um, so it's better to have a stiffer line and um, obviously you can heat this up a little bit in hot water and get it more even presenting even better so um, but how about that so that's how it presents so the water level obviously this is a little bit short I can actually lengthen this a little bit just by taking out this um, push it in and just break off the peg to whatever you need have a little bit so you don't lose it and that is absolutely ideal and that will sit in the water water level should be around about here or depending on the um, density of your water because uh, of uh, um, carp ground bait going in the water causes a lot of oils on the surface so it tends to float more um, in fresh water or clear water they tend to sort of like sink a little bit more so um, you have to adjust it and I'll show you how to also adjust the tubes in the next video so that is it literally um, put your bait on there which comes up wallop and down it goes there's a duck dive um, <laughs> what more can I say it works and uh, the reports I get about uh, warding off birds with these little eyes I've only ever ever had two baby coots um, go and steal the bait in which case they need to learn a lesson so you um, just keep on pulling it back and uh, hopefully they won't take it and uh, uh, they'll realize that it's uh, not for them so there you are thank you for watching the video and i'll show you the next part anyway and uh, how to uh, adjust it and replace the uh, weight thank you hello um, i'm showing how the pin in the float if you want to change the weight um, in the float here um, if it's either too heavy or too light um, due to water conditions um, some people have asked about changing the weight and others have actually um, managed to either lose the weight or the pin has been so old it's rusted away <laughs> um, and there was a couple uh, two or three went out to in July uh, this year 2019 which um, I thought the actual pin had been located through that hole there um, see that there and uh, it hadn't been and I was pulling it and it was, I think just just suction on alone had um, wedged it in there because um, <laughs> you know um, well <laughs> as you can see uh, so um, what we do here is quite simply the pin will obviously be already in your um, float so you need it in the center and about a centimeter down um, in the center there lined up with a hole in the bottom okay I just push that into there um, obviously you don't need a, ply, a pair of pliers to do this at first because the actual pins already located now I don't know if you can see this here but if I push the pin down towards the top of the float you can actually see the top of the pin here you see so um, if the pin is already in if I push the pin in right now you can either use a pair of pliers to get the pin out or push the pin from the other side okay to so so you can see it's come out a little bit here let me just do that again so you can actually get a pair of pliers at an angle and just push the pin out so it protrudes out and if you don't want to ruin your nails and stuff if you have um, you can either get the pliers to pull it out or again if you don't have a pair of pliers handy you can actually use a spoon on the other side here push and then just prise the, the pin out a little bit okay it'll come out eventually and then you can actually see the top of the pin here see yeah and that's what we're simply putting the
float I, oh no, sorry, the weight I, over the pin, and then you push the pin up towards the bottom, so it is at an angle. Oops, see what happens. <laughs> if you don't get a pin right, it can easily fall off. Um, so when you're sort of making these about 100 at a time, it does tend to, right, okay, so make sure when you pull a pin, you can see the pin moving now, and push down, uh, get a blunt, something blunt like the back of a spoon, and just push that pin back in, and that should, you know, give it a good shake. The pin should be, have the weight secure. That should never come out, you know, honestly. If it, if you have, if it comes out again, then, give up <laughs> because I've put these through such vigor uh, vigorous tests um, and whilst I'm doing this as well uh, you can actually adjust the tubes because um, some people might use bigger baits and less uh, so that's that's how they normally come but by getting a cigarette light and just warming it up slightly just like that you can actually straighten or bend up let it cool down give it a little blow straighten it up and quite easily you can adjust the angle of the tube not too much otherwise you'll burn through the tube but literally a couple of seconds of heat will actually move that tube because they're very flexible indeed not like the ones before okay there you are that's it